Hey there, how you do? Are you ready for more oscillations? Then let's make them non-linear. We have studied the harmonic oscillator in a bit of detail now. With damping, with external forcing, couple oscillators in two dimensions, but all of those equations were linear in the velocity and the position. And linearity is something easier to work with. Unfortunately, nature tends to be very non-linear. All the systems we are studying are dynamical systems, systems that evolve with time due to the interactions of its constituents. A subset of dynamical systems is that were on, that only contains nonlinear systems. Then we talk about nonlinear dynamics, and one subset of nonlinear dynamics is chaos. Chaos is not randomness, it is not playing with dice, it is not the absolute lack of knowledge. Chaos is deterministic. A chaotic system is described with very specific equations that evolve with time, but these equations are sensitive to the initial conditions. If you change a tiny bit the initial conditions, the outcome can change drastically. The man who said I'd rather be lucky than good saw deeply into life. People are afraid to face how great a part of life is dependent on luck. It's scary to think so much is out of one's control. There are moments in a match when the ball hits the top of the net and for a split second it can either go forward or fall back. With a little luck it goes forward and you win. Or maybe it doesn't and you lose. If we knew with infinite precision the initial conditions, we would be able to predict with total certainty the outcome of a chaotic system. But that's not possible. We never can. But that does not stop us from trying to understand chaotic systems, and we can do a pretty decent job about it. So, chaos. What, what do we find chaos in nature? Chaos can appear in the heartbeat of people with heart problems. Chaos is present in neurons' communications. Chaos is present in your brain. Chaos is present in the species' populations. Chaos is present in solar flares or in asteroid motions. Chaos is present in circuits, and you might want to find a way to avoid it, control it, or use it to send encrypted messages. Chaos is present in lasers, in motion of electrons in atoms. Chaos is present in the climate and in the weather. Chaos is present in earthquake dynamics and in avalanches. Chaos is everywhere, so we better start loving it. Henry Poincaré in the 1880s realized by studying the motion of planets that they are stable at a scale larger than the human life, but they are unstable at an even much longer scale. If we talk about tens of millions of years, we cannot claim stability. Small perturbations from neighbor objects change in a chaotic way, the trajectories of asteroids, satellites, or even planets. Some years later, in the 1960s, Lawrence, trying to model weather, realized that a tiny change in the initial conditions could end in very different weather in a short time. In this chapter, we are going to study first nonlinear oscillations. We'll introduce a simple example and see how easily nonlinearities come to the stage. Then we'll go back to phase space to extract information from nonlinear dynamical systems, even without solving the differential equations. We'll also study the phase diagram of the simple pendulum for small and not small amplitudes. We'll study stability of nonlinear dynamical systems. And finally, I'll introduce two simple examples of chaotic systems and some tools to quantify chaos. So, fasten your seatbelts and May the science be with you.